Handwriting can be a difficult task that requires lots of different skills. Try some of our pre-writing and letter formation activities to develop your handwriting skills. Scribble Monsters For this activity you need to lie on your tummy and prop on your forearms, which are these parts of your arms. Try to keep your forearm as still as possible so that the movement is coming mainly from your fingers and your wrist. Using a felt tip pen or pencil crayon, draw small circular scribbles to make a scribble monster. Notice how my arm isn't moving. When you've finished, you can add a face and other details. Next, have a go at making a spiky monster. Draw a dot on your paper and draw spiky fur all around the dot. Make sure you start at the dot and come back to it. Move your pen or pencil all around the dot in different directions. Again, when you've finished, you can add a face and other details. Well done! Continuous scribble. For this activity you'll need a large piece of paper. When you've done it a few times you can move on to a smaller piece of paper like this one and this will make it harder. You also need your eyes closed so that you can really focus on the feel of your pen or pencil. What you need to do is pick a starting point on your paper and draw circular scribbles all around trying to fill all of the space. Don't take your pen or pencil off. Really think about the feel and the flow of your pencil. You could put some of your favourite music on whilst doing this activity. Try and think about filling all of the space. When you've finished, have a look and see how much of the page you've filled. You can keep practicing and try and fill more and more of the paper each time. Well done! Pre-writing shapes. To be able to write, you need to master pre-writing shapes. There are lots of different shapes, so start with one until you can do this and then move on to the next one. Start with big paper and gradually work down to small paper. If you find the shapes really tricky, you could ask a helper to draw a start and finish mark, a bit like dot to dot. Your helper could also put their hand over your hand. As well as using paper, you could also try different types of media, such as sand in a tray, chalks or a ribbon stick. Let's start with our first shape, the vertical line. For this shape, we need to start at the top and go down horizontal line. We need to start at the left and go to the right. Circle. We need to start at the top, go round and back up to where we started. It's really important to talk about how you're drawing each shape. Next is the add sign. This is where we need to put our vertical line and horizontal line together. Start at the top, go down pen off and then left to right. Diagonal lines. These are a bit like forward and backward slash. You need to start at the top and go across and down at the same time. See if you can do this the other way. V shapes. This is where we need to put our diagonal lines together. Start at the top, 
diagonal down, diagonal up. Now see if you can do this upside down. Diagonal up, diagonal down, cross. Again, using our diagonal lines, we need to go from the top, down and across to the bottom, pen off, down and across the other way, square. We need our vertical and horizontal line for this one. So we need to start at the top, go down, across, up and across, triangle. This is where we need to use our diagonal line and also our horizontal. Start at the top, go diagonal down, across and diagonal up. Well done. Next we're moving on to our letters. All of these letters include our vertical and horizontal line. E. Start at the top, go down, across, across, and across. F. Start at the top, down, across, across. H. Start at the top and down and across. I. We need to go across, down and across. L. Start at the top, go down and across. Last one, T. We need to go across and down. That's all of our pre-writing shapes. Well done and make sure you keep practicing. Pre-writing patterns. Once you've mastered pre-writing shapes, move on to pre-writing patterns. Try copying out these patterns. You might need a helper to draw them out at first so that you can trace over them. Make sure you go from left to right on your paper. Think about the flow of your pen or pencil. Try and keep your pattern the same size all the way along. Try looking on Google for different pre-writing patterns. Well done and keep practicing.